Chào các bạn. À, mình quay lại với cái chủ đề chuyển đổi cơ thể uh, trong cái giai đoạn mà tần số năng lượng cao này thì uh, khi mà chúng ta thấy cơ thể chúng ta xuất hiện rất là nhiều những cái dấu hiệu như là sốt nè rồi nhức đầu này rồi có những cái tiếng kêu ở trong tai nè rồi uh, đôi khi chúng ta tập thiền thì chúng ta cảm thấy rằng là khá khá là khó định được uh, và uh, chúng ta cảm thấy rằng là nhiều khi có rất là nhiều những cái thay đổi xung quanh của mình thì đó là dấu hiệu bình thường của tất cả những bạn stasis tức là những bạn mà Um, tình nguyện xuống trái đất trong khoảng hai cái đợt tình nguyện gần đây và cái đợt thứ ba chủ yếu bây giờ hiện tại là các đợt ở đợt thứ hai và đợt thứ ba thì chúng ta uh, có cái quá trình mà ăn uống lành mạnh rồi uh, chữa lành cơ thể uh, tập yoga tập um, thiền rồi tất cả những cái cái cách mà chúng ta có thể tiếp xúc được nhiều với thiên nhiên và quay trở về cái bản thể gốc của mình ấy, thì cơ thể chúng ta bắt đầu có quá trình chuyển đổi năng lượng và chuyển từ cơ thể carbon tức là cơ thể hiện tại trước đây của mình sang cơ thể dạng crystalline base tức là cơ thể dựa trên tinh thể thì cơ thể dựa trên tinh thể là cơ thể như thế nào thì các bạn cũng thấy rằng là nó cũng giống như cơ thể bình thường của mình nhưng cấu trúc của trong xương và trong các cái hệ thần kinh của chúng ta thì bắt đầu chuyển sang dạng tinh thể tức là những cái hạt nhỏ hạt nhỏ hạt nhỏ dạng tinh thể chứ nó không không như là những cái dạng mà đốt ra nó thành nó thành cho nữa À, cụ thể điển hình thì các bạn thấy rằng là khi các cái nhà sư mà tu luyện tốt á, thì cơ thể khi mà thiêu á, thì có xá lợi à, thì đấy là những người mà cơ thể họ chuyển thành tinh thể trong thời kỳ bảo bình này thì rất là nhiều những bạn tu luyện tốt thì các bạn đều có khả năng chuyển đổi cơ thể của mình sang tinh thể và mình nghĩ rằng là ai cũng có thể chuyển đổi được cái cơ thể dạng ngày qua dạng bình thường sang dạng tinh thể uh, dựa vào cái quá trình mà các bạn sẽ tỉnh thức và các bạn chữa lành cho cả những cái bệnh lý cũng như là cái lối sống và, và các cái vấn đề ở xảy ra bên trong cơ thể của mình tùy theo cái mức độ năng lượng khác nhau mà cái việc chúng ta hoàn thành cái việc chuyển đổi cơ thể sang dạng tinh thể nó sẽ ở mức độ khác nhau uh, nhưng mà Tốt nhất thì chúng ta cũng sẽ thấy rằng uh, chúng ta sẽ sống có đạo đức, chúng ta sẽ sống mà uh, tuân theo luật vũ trụ đó. Thì các bạn sẽ thấy rằng là chúng ta bắt đầu xuất hiện những cái dấu hiệu chuyển đổi của cơ thể. Đó là những biểu hiện nào và những biểu hiện này thì có những cái điều gì đáng cần phải lưu ý thì chúng ta có thể theo dõi cái video này của kênh Astra Tom nha. Do you feel a deeper connection to the earth and its energies lately? Are your physical and spiritual experiences intensifying? Your body is evolving, transitioning from a carbon-based structure to a crystalline-based form. This ascension process is driven by the increasing penetration of light energy into the earth, matter, and your very being. The ultimate goal is to achieve a light body, a state of pure, radiant existence. Our physical bodies are primarily carbon-based, a structure that has served humanity for millennia. This form is dense, grounding us in the physical realm, allowing us to interact with the material world. As the Earth and its inhabitants receive increasing amounts of higher vibrational energy, our bodies begin to shift. This process involves the integration of more silica and crystalline structures within our cells. These changes enhance our ability to hold more light and higher frequencies, increasing our overall vibrational state. Crystalline structures are more efficient in transmitting and receiving light energy. Eventually, a light body is a state of existence where the physical form is no longer dense, but composed of pure light. It is an ethereal, radiant form that operates on higher planes of existence. In this state, we are free from the limitations of physicality, experiencing boundless energy, vitality and connection to the source. As you progress in your ascension, Your reliance on material food will naturally decrease. This transformative journey shifts your body's need from physical sustenance to an ethereal nourishment. You'll find that the energy required to sustain your existence begins to flow directly from the light and love of the universe. This light energy penetrates every cell, every atom, elevating your being into a higher vibrational state. The first sign is the release of blocked energy. As you ascend, high frequency energies begin to flow into your body, pushing out stagnant energies that have been stored for years, possibly lifetimes. This process can cause physical discomfort as your body adjusts to these new higher vibrations. It's similar to a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly. There is a period of intense change and growth that can be painful, but it is necessary for your metamorphosis. 
You may find yourself experiencing unusual pain and discomfort, like a persistent itch or a deep ache that doesn't seem to have a physical cause. These sensations can manifest as itching in various parts of your body, feeling like your bones are being crushed or enduring muscle aches that come out of nowhere. While these symptoms might seem concerning, they are significant signs of your body's transformation during ascension. You might notice these symptoms intensifying during periods of high energetic activity, such as solar flares or full moons. During these times, it's essential to care for yourself by staying hydrated, resting, and practicing gentle self-care. Trust that these discomforts are temporary and signify profound healing and transformation within you. Take them as part of your journey towards becoming your highest, most enlightened self. The second sign is back pain, particularly along your spine. You may find that your back aches or experiences sharp pain without a clear physical cause. This discomfort is deeply significant and directly connected to your body's ascension process. Your spine is not just a structural support, it is a conduit for higher forms of light and energy. As you ascend, your spine starts to vibrate at a different frequency, becoming a channel through which divine light is downloaded into your body. This transformation can be intense, causing pain as your physical body adjusts to accommodate this new higher vibration. You might notice this pain flaring up during meditation or moments of deep spiritual connection. For example, during a yoga session, you may feel a surge of energy flowing through your spine, bringing both pain and a profound sense of alignment. This is because your spine is actively working to integrate these higher energies into your being. This AI technology turns text into animated videos featuring real humans who speak anything you type. The third sign is the emergence of rashes and other detoxification symptoms, such as diarrhea, hemorrhoids and urticaria. These physical manifestations can be alarming and uncomfortable, but they are a clear indication that your body is undergoing significant transformation. Your body is purging toxins and adjusting to the influx of high frequency energy. As you ascend, the light energy entering your system works to cleanse your physical form, pushing out impurities that have accumulated over time. This detoxification process often results in rashes, as your skin, the largest organ, reacts to the elimination of these toxins. Similarly, symptoms like diarrhea and hemorrhoids are your body's way of expelling waste and purging itself of anything that might hinder your ascension. Daily life can become challenging with these symptoms, but they are temporary and part of your spiritual journey. For instance, you might notice a sudden rash after an intense meditation session or after spending time in nature, where the Earth's high energies are more potent. It's crucial to listen to your body during these times and provide it with the care it needs. The fourth sign is emotional upheavals, where you experience waves of depression, anxiety, emotional breakdowns and crying. These intense emotions can feel overwhelming, but they are a crucial part of your ascension process. You are cleansing the dark and dense energy accumulated over time. As your vibrational frequency rises, the lower energies within you are brought to the surface, demanding release. This purging process can manifest as sudden bouts of sadness or anxiety, seemingly unprovoked tears and deep emotional lows. It's as though every unresolved pain, every buried trauma is coming up to be acknowledged and healed. Daily life examples are everywhere. A casual conversation might trigger an unexpected flood of tears, or a mundane task might bring up deep-seated feelings of frustration and sadness. You might find yourself crying without any apparent reason, Yet each tear is a testament to your soul shedding the weight of past hurts and preparing to embrace higher frequencies. The fifth sign is unprecedented changes in behavior. You find yourself gravitating towards new habits, activities and even people while distancing yourself from past routines and relationships that no longer resonate. You begin synchronizing with those who share your new frequency, experiencing a natural drift away from those who remain on different wavelengths. This is not a rejection of your old friends or ways, but rather an alignment with your evolving energy levels. As you adjust to higher frequencies, your soul seeks harmony with others who support and enhance your spiritual growth. This might look like suddenly feeling a strong urge to spend more time in nature, meditate, 
or engage in creative activities that uplift your spirit. You might notice a growing discomfort in environments that once felt comfortable or an inexplicable disinterest in conversations that used to engage you. Conversely, encounters with new people who share your spiritual interests might feel instantly fulfilling and deeply resonant. The sixth sign is an increased connection with your higher self, often manifesting as frequent and inexplicable feelings of being moved to tears. These moments of emotional intensity are not random. They are profound indicators of your deepening spiritual alignment. As you tune into higher self energy, you become more sensitive to the subtle divine vibrations around you. You might find yourself tearing up during meditation while listening to a piece of music that resonates deeply or even during mundane daily activities that suddenly feel imbued with greater significance. These tears are a release, a way for your soul to acknowledge and process the heightened state of spiritual awareness you are experiencing. This could mean feeling overwhelmed by a sunset's beauty, the innocence of a child's laughter, or the kindness of a stranger. These moments are your higher self's way of communicating, letting you know that you are on the right path and connected to the universal flow of love and energy. The seventh sign is extreme fatigue, a profound exhaustion that seems to permeate your entire being, demanding more sleep and rest than usual. This intense tiredness is not a mere inconvenience, but a crucial indicator that your body is using an immense amount of energy to adjust to higher frequencies. You may find yourself struggling to keep your eyes open during the day, yearning for naps, or needing more hours of sleep at night. This fatigue can hit you suddenly, making even the simplest tasks feel overwhelming. It's as if your body is urging you to slow down and give it the time it needs to recalibrate and integrate the new, elevated energies you are receiving. This might mean having to cancel plans, take time off work, or simply retreat to the comfort of your bed more frequently. It can be frustrating, especially if you're used to a busy, active lifestyle. However, this fatigue is a sign of the profound transformation occurring within you. Your body is working tirelessly to shed old, dense energies and align with the higher frequencies of light and love now entering your system. This period of extreme fatigue is a sacred time for healing and adjustment. By honoring your body's need for rest, you allow it to heal and transform at a cellular level. This rest is essential for your body to fully integrate the new energies and support your spiritual ascension. The eighth sign is experiencing night sweats and hot flashes, sudden waves of heat that can leave you drenched and unsettled during your sleep. These episodes are more than mere physical disturbances. They signify profound spiritual encounters, marking the moments when your higher self approaches you in dreams. You might find yourself waking up in the middle of the night your body covered in sweat, your heart pounding as if you've just run a marathon. This isn't simply a reaction to a warm room or heavy blankets. It is your physical body's response to the presence of your higher self's warm light body drawing near during sleep. This light body radiates an intense divine warmth that permeates your being, triggering these physical sensations as it aligns with your own energy. This could mean having to change your night clothes or bed sheets frequently or seeking cooler sleeping arrangements. It can feel disruptive and puzzling, especially if you've never experienced such symptoms before. Yet, these night sweats and hot flashes are profound indicators of your spiritual evolution, signifying the increasing integration of your higher self's energy into your physical form. The ninth sign is experiencing vivid, wild, violent, and sometimes terrifying dreams. These dreams can be intense and unsettling, leaving you feeling shaken upon waking. However, they are not just random mental occurrences, but significant indicators of your spiritual cleansing process. You may find yourself jolted awake in the middle of the night, heart racing, drenched in sweat from a particularly vivid dream. These dreams often feel disturbingly real, filled with chaotic, sometimes violent imagery, you might see scenes of past battles, confrontations, or even apocalyptic scenarios. These dreams are a manifestation of the low-frequency energies accumulated over many lifetimes, now being released and purged from your soul. This might mean starting your day feeling disoriented or emotionally drained, carrying the weight of the dream's intensity with you. 
You might wonder why these dreams are happening and what they mean. They are your subconscious mind's way of processing and expelling dense energies that no longer serve you, making room for higher frequencies of light and love. The tenth sign is experiencing dizziness, loss of balance, and spinning sensations. You may find yourself suddenly feeling lightheaded or unsteady on your feet, as if the ground beneath you is shifting. These sensations can be disorienting, making you pause and steady yourself before continuing with your daily activities. These episodes of dizziness are not random, but a clear indication that your Merkaba, your light body vehicle, is forming and calibrating with new energy. Your brain is for more than remembering three million hours of binge TV shows. In just seven seconds... The Merkaba is a powerful energetic field that surrounds your body facilitating higher consciousness and multidimensional travel. As it develops, it adjusts to align with the influx of higher frequencies, causing temporary disruptions in your physical equilibrium. This might mean feeling a sudden wave of vertigo while you're at work, forcing you to sit down and catch your breath. Or perhaps you're walking through your home and need to reach out to a wall to steady yourself as a spinning sensation overtakes you. These moments are your body's response to the significant energetic upgrades you are undergoing. The eleventh sign is experiencing memory loss, cognitive decline, and a sudden inability to express yourself. You might find yourself in a conversation and suddenly forget a word or lose your train of thought entirely. These moments can be frustrating and disorienting, making you question your mental sharpness. These cognitive issues are not signs of permanent decline, but indications of frequent transitions between different dimensions. As you face these higher realms, your brain undergoes intermittent energy flow, causing temporary blankness. Your mind is recalibrating to accommodate the influx of new information and higher vibrational frequencies, which can disrupt your usual cognitive functions. This might manifest as forgetting why you walked into a room or struggling to recall simple details during a work meeting. These lapses can be unsettling, especially when you pride yourself on your intellect and clarity of thought. However, they are part of the process of your ascension and adjustment to new energetic states. The twelfth sign is a profound sense of loss of identity. You might feel strange and disconnected when looking at yourself in the mirror, as if the face staring back at you is no longer your own. This unsettling sensation is not uncommon among those on the path to spiritual ascension, where the boundaries of your human identity start to blur. This experience stems from your deepening connection with your higher self. As this connection strengthens, your attachment to your previous human identity weakens, leading to a feeling of alienation. This transition can be challenging, especially when daily life demands a consistent and recognizable self-image. In your daily life, this might manifest as a sudden disinterest in activities and roles that once defined you. You may find yourself questioning long-held beliefs and values, feeling out of place in familiar settings, or struggling to relate to people who were once close to you. These changes can cause a sense of isolation and confusion, as if you are a stranger in your own life. The thirteenth sign is experiencing out-of-body phenomena, where you might see and hear things that others don't. You may start to notice sounds that resemble tinnitus, or see ethereal light spheres, floating or flickering at the edge of your vision. These sensations can be startling, but are significant indicators of your ascension process. These phenomena occur as your perception expands beyond the physical realm. Your consciousness begins to bridge the gap between dimensions, allowing you glimpses into higher states of being. This heightened perception is a sign that you are tuning into the subtler energies and frequencies that exist beyond the ordinary sensory experience. You might hear soft, high-pitched sounds that seem to come from nowhere or see flashes of light in the periphery of your vision. These experiences can happen during meditation, moments of deep relaxation, or even randomly throughout your day. Such occurrences are your higher self's way of communicating with you, indicating that your spiritual senses are awakening. The fourteenth sign is a profound feeling of alienation, a deep yearning to go home and a sense of not belonging here on earth. You might find yourself looking up at the stars with a longing that cannot be put into words, feeling like an outsider in your own life. 
This is not just a fleeting thought, but a persistent sense that you're meant to be somewhere else, somewhere higher and more aligned with your true essence. This feeling of alienation arises because your vibrational frequency is shifting to higher levels, aligning you more closely with your higher self and the higher dimensions. As you ascend, the dense energy of the physical world can feel heavy and constricting, making you feel out of place and disconnected from your surroundings. You might notice that social interactions feel superficial and unfulfilling, or that you are no longer interested in activities that once brought you joy. You might crave solitude, spending more time in nature or in meditation, seeking to reconnect with the higher realms where you feel more at home. Recognizing these signs is crucial to understanding your spiritual ascension process. These experiences are not mere coincidences or random occurrences, they are significant markers of your transition to a higher state of consciousness. You are evolving, shedding the old layers of your being, and embracing a new reality that aligns with your higher self. Daily life might feel like a whirlwind, with physical, emotional and spiritual challenges testing your resilience. You may feel discomfort, alienation, or a profound sense of change. These are not signs of something going wrong, but rather indicators of your growth and alignment with higher frequencies. Welcome these experiences, knowing they are part of a greater cosmic design meant to elevate your soul and transform your existence. As you go through this transformative period, it's essential to seek support and guidance. Connect with others who understand and share your experiences. Engage in practices that nurture your spirit, such as meditation, energy work, and spending time in nature. These activities will help ground you, provide clarity, and enhance your connection to the divine. Your journey is unique and deeply personal, yet you are not alone. Many are awakening to their true nature and experiencing similar signs of ascension. By sharing your story, you can inspire and support others on their paths. Your experiences are valuable and can provide insight and encouragement to those who may be feeling lost or overwhelmed. Take this opportunity to accept your role as a beacon of light. Stand tall in your truth, embodying the higher frequencies of love, compassion, and wisdom. Your journey is a testament to the power of spiritual evolution, and your story can illuminate the path for others. Now is the time to step fully into your spiritual power. Recognize these signs as affirmations of your progress, and continue to seek the support and guidance you need. Your ascension journey is a powerful contribution to the collective awakening, guiding humanity towards a new era of consciousness and interconnectedness. Share your experiences, connect with your community, and let your light shine brightly. Your story is a vital part of the collective narrative, and by embracing your journey, you inspire others to do the same. Together, we can face this transformative period and create a world filled with love, light, and higher consciousness. Before bed tonight, try saying these nine simple words to help attract money while you sleep. The harder you work, the luckier you get. Các bạn vừa theo dõi xong các cái dấu hiệu để chứng tỏ rằng là cơ thể các bạn đang chuyển sang cái trạng thái crystalline, cơ thể um, ánh sáng, cơ thể uh, tinh thể. Uh, <cười> Các bạn thông cảm mà mình cũng đang trong quá trình chuyển đổi nên là cơ thể của mình cũng đang chưa có khỏe lắm. Và cái Youtube của mình thì nó cũng không phải là bản uh, premium nên là có một vài cái quảng cáo ở giữa thì vì thời gian này mình cũng không có nhiều thời gian nên là mình sẽ không cắt ghép mà sẽ đưa lên luôn cho mọi người xem. Để nếu mà các bạn có những cái dấu hiệu giống như ở trong cái video này thì mình ghi lại và mình liệt kê xem thử là Chúng ta có khoảng bao nhiêu dấu hiệu rồi và khi chúng ta biết những dấu hiệu này thì các bạn sẽ thấy rằng đó là những cái sự tích cực đáng mừng. Lúc này bạn cũng có thể thấy có nhiều con số thiên thần xuất hiện quanh mình, những cái sự mệt mỏi hoặc là đôi khi mình nóng tính hoặc là mình mơ thấy những cái giấc mơ mà nó kỳ lạ và có thể là có những ác mộng hoặc là có thể là những giấc mơ đẹp. Thì nó là cái biểu hiện của cái khả năng phát triển tâm linh của các bạn. À, khi mà cơ thể các bạn cảm thấy khó chịu hoặc là có những cái việc không như ý xảy ra xung quanh các bạn thì các bạn đừng có lo lắng bởi vì đây là lúc mà cơ thể các bạn đang nhận được các cái bản nâng cấp 
à, nhận được những mã năng lượng ánh sáng mới mà nguồn gửi xuống với cái à, mục tiêu là giúp các bạn sẽ tiến xa hơn trong hành trình thăng thiên của các bạn Tức là hành trình các bạn quay trở lại với cái khả năng tinh thần nó lớn hơn Để có thể hỗ trợ và cống hiến cho trái đất nhiều hơn trong thời gian sắp tới Cái việc này cũng rất là phổ biến và bình thường trên con đường thăng thiên của bất cứ ai à, Ngay hiện tại thì cũng đều phải phát triển tâm linh hết à, Tuy nhiên mức độ khác nhau thôi và nếu như ai mà không có làm việc với ý các bạn thì các bạn cũng hỉ xả từ bi bỏ qua cho họ bởi vì uh, có thể là <cười> cái tiến trình phát triển tâm linh của mỗi người mỗi khác nhau thì các bạn là là người phát hiện ra những cái điều này trước thì các bạn nên hỗ trợ mọi người và um, cái hoạt động mà thăng thiên này á, thì uh, nhằm hỗ trợ bạn tiến nhanh hơn trên con đường um, phát triển cái khả năng giữ ánh sáng trong cơ thể vật lý của các bạn và phát triển cái ý thức của các bạn lên một cái chiều cao hơn ờ, ở nơi đó có sự tự do hội nhập và tình yêu vô điều kiện việc này nó cũng đang được tiến hành và có sự đồng ý ở cấp độ linh hồn của bạn ờ, ở hai sao đó nên là bạn yên tâm nha nó mang lại lợi ích cao nhất cho bạn thôi cho nên là hãy thư giãn và có chế độ nghỉ ngơi phù hợp cho cơ thể khi mà cơ thể đang cần thích nghi với nguồn năng lượng mới này à, cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi cái video và À, cũng cảm ơn cái, cái sự hướng dẫn từ nguồn à, Ở đây mình có trích cái phần giới thiệu của kênh à, Astra Tom Cho nên là à, mình cũng xin biết ơn tất cả những cái nguồn tài liệu đã có sẵn Để chúng ta có thể tham khảo à, Các bạn có bao nhiêu dấu hiệu của cái quá trình thăng thiên này Các bạn có thể comment ở dưới nha Chào mọi người, hẹn gặp lại mọi người trong video tiếp theo